The first step on the journey is to prepare. On the outside, it takes the form of packing. On the inside, it emerges as courage, inner strength, and hope. The adventurer is now ready to climb to new heights. Elizabeth von Rummel, later known as Lizzie, was born into German aristocracy at the turn of the last century. In 1914, to escape her World War I ravaged homeland, she came with her family to live on a ranch in the Alberta foothills. Later in life, Lizzie would strike out on another epic adventure. For 32 years, she would run backcountry lodges at Skokie and Mount Assiniboine. I just wanted to do something on my own. And the only thing I could do is perhaps run uh, a guest run. Because I knew how to cook and I knew how to uh, operate a place where there are no stores. In 1938, at the age of 41, Lizzie rode into Erling Strom's Mount Assiniboine Lodge to work as a chambermaid. I'm looking for a place, a job. And she said, I think I have what, there's this man called Erling Strom and he comes every 1st of June and operates this Assiniboine Lodge. So, and she showed me pictures and I fell in love with it right then. Lizzie proved to be a perfect hostess at Assiniboine. Her elegant German background, combined with life on an Alberta ranch, made it possible for her to cope with anything from entertaining guests to saddling horses, making beds, or helping in the kitchen. She could never have imagined how much this first year at Assiniboine would change her life. It was often like this. We went out for, say, we went to Wedgwood Lake. They packed a horse with frying pans, a whole lunch, by bread and stuff, and the people fished, and we fried the fish right there, you see. And then, of course, I had to rush back home because I had to get the table ready for supper. I was kind of busy, but it was so exhilarating, so lovely, and I was really thrilled about it. It was Lizzie's operation of Skokie Lodge, later in life, that became a high point not only for her, but for hundreds of other people as well. In 1979, after many years of being the famed Baroness of the Canadian Rockies, she was awarded the Order of Canada. The citation reads, Mountaineer par excellence, protector of the environment, authority on local flora and fauna, and friend to countless hikers in the mountains near Banff. Lizzie has enriched her country by sharing her deep love of the Rocky Mountains with all who have met her. For nearly 50 years, Fran Drummond hauled 75-pound packs up mountain trails to welcome her guests to Twin Falls Chalet in Yoho National Park. The chalet is a true backcountry lodge. Originally built in 1908 by the Canadian Pacific Railway, situated in view of the spectacular Twin Falls. In 1962, after hiking in Yoho Valley, Fran was inspired to pen a proposal to Parks Canada to operate the old CPR Railway Lodge, which might have been demolished if she hadn't taken it on. It, it, it was as if it was meant to be in, in the process of, of getting the chalet. Uh, I was... Um, terminating my time with Gulf Oil and I wrote a letter to whom it may concern Twin Falls Lodge, Banff, Alberta and, and the letter requested um, a possible lease or sublease uh, with option to buy and uh, in 10 days I had an answer Yes, it was available, and so it was meant to be, that's it. The chalet has a long history of attracting interesting, influential, and adventurous guests. I'm told the um, King of Siam stayed here in, at Twin Falls in the 30s, as did uh, Dale Carnegie, as did, uh, for many years, the president of Harvard University used to come up. But it has a phenomenal history. 
with the Vol family uh, and of course being up on the Yoho Glacier a lot and even Mary Schaefer. Catherine White, a friend of Fran's, encouraged her in making Twin Falls Chalet the wonderful place it is today. A gregarious host, Fran is always eager to share stories of her eclectic and adventurous life with her guests. Her mission is to show people what authentic backcountry living is all about and what we can do to fully benefit from being in the mountains. I think people have to give, give to the mountains because they give back to you in very extraordinary ways. Uh, people are healed by being in this wonderful, simple environment. Serving nature and the community of adventurers that Twin Falls Chalet attracts has been the love of Fran's life, her ultimate reward for a lifetime of adventure. It's the adventure and the challenges of being a service here that has uh, kept me going. It's when people come back the second time that you know that they've thoroughly enjoyed their first visit, they've garnered something from it, and they want to explore a little more. And that, that to me is my reward. In the beautiful Yoho Valley. <laughs>